Hello, brothers and sisters. We're continuing with Paul's letter from lockdown as we read from Philippians chapter 2, the first four verses. Paul writes, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like minded having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Whenever I read these verses, I have two immediate reactions, gratitude and despair. Gratitude because of the sheer kindness of God to me, illustrated in verse 1. I'm united with Christ, the one who conquered sin and death for me. I'm comforted by his love, love which is bigger than COVID-19, bigger than anything that threatens me, so big that it governs every part of my life. I share in the Spirit, as God has joined me to himself and made me a part of his family. I experience God's tenderness and compassion every day. All these things that Paul lists in verse 1, I don't deserve any of them. I'm not entitled to any of them. Yet God has freely given me all these things. How then could I not feel gratitude? So why then? do I also experience desperation? It's because in verses two to four, I find that I ought to be reflecting God's kindness to me in the way that I treat other people. And that's when I quickly discover I'm way out of my depth. So Paul writes, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility, value others above yourselves not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Now be honest, has Paul just described the way you live? Is that how you've lived with others during lockdown? Is that what your household always looks like? Is that what your household has ever looked like? You see, I can't read those verses and then say, yes, that's my life. I've got it nailed. God thinks of others. He even thought of me. But I don't instinctively think of others. I'm full of myself. I want the world to revolve around me, even if sometimes I'm just a little bit generous when push comes to, comes to shove. It's all about me. If I hear of people buying up toilet rolls and hand sanitizers to such an extent that there's nothing left for anybody else. I despise them. I say, how selfish. And yet the awful truth is, in my heart, I want to do the same thing, if only nobody would see me do it. And so here you see in this passage, I read in verse one about God's goodness. That leads me to gratitude. But then I read in verses two to four about God's design for my life, and I feel desperation. But here's the wonderful thing. In the kindness of God, these things, verse one, his goodness, verses two to four, his design for my life, these two things come together. Because God is so good, my failure to live as I ought doesn't drive me away from God. His goodness draws me to him in my weakness and my need and my failure. His sheer goodness causes me to turn to him and to cry out, oh God, there is no way I can live like this by myself. I haven't got what it takes. But because you are so good, won't you rescue me? I need your grace. I need you to help me to be what I will never be by myself. And God loves to answer that prayer.
and to help us grow. Those of you who are parents know that you have invested many hours, probably many years, in trying to teach your children to say please and thank you. That's how God trains his children too. He teaches us that every day there is a thousand reasons to say thank you to him. And every day I have a desperate need to say please. Please, Father, won't you help me to be what I can never be by myself? Thankfully, God's goodness gives me every incentive to say please. Let's pray together now. Father, thank you for your heart full of kindness. Thank you for all the ways in which your kindness overflows into my life. Please, won't you help me grow? To be like you? Won't you make me what I've no power to be by myself? Someone who is like your perfect son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, answer this prayer for your glory's sake. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Bye for now.